excited to have our next guest. They are on a mission to educate people about a blood disorder that affects some 20,000 people in this country, including six-year-old Max. To look at him, you would never guess he has hemophilia. It's a disease that prevents his blood from clotting. Despite this, Max has managed to live a full life. And like other kids his age, this little boy with the big smile loves his comic books. So much so, his family calls him Iron Max. This after having a port implanted in his chest for the medicine treating his disorder, which his dad helped Max to understand. He told him it looks similar to the metal disc that the superhero Iron Man wears. Marvel Comics got wind of what Max was going through and included him in an issue of Invincible Iron Man. It was a moment that Max won't soon forget. And neither will his sister Zoe, who created a calendar called Hearts for Hemophilia. And this is to help raise awareness and some much needed funds to fight this disorder. Together, they have sold it door to door, raising more than $7,500 in the process. And Max and his family donated that money to Children's Hospital. So you see, Max is here. I guess I should call you Iron Max, Iron right? Max. Here in the studio. Yeah. Zoe and also their father, Dan. Good morning. Thanks for morning, joining thank us. <laughs> so you were pretty pumped up looking at yourself there. Mm, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Pretty cool that you're a superhero. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Dan, what has it been like for you guys and since you found out that he has hemophilia? We found out when Max was nine months old, so it's been, uh, you know, almost six years, and it's been difficult at times, um, but the treatment at CHOP uh, has been wonderful. Um, finally, he's on <laughs> the right medicine. Uh, it took a couple of years, and that's part of the reason why we're out doing this, not just raising money with the calendars that actually Zoe created, this whole charity, um, and not just being an Iron Man, which is pretty awesome. I'm in there, too, by the way. Yeah. It's not just... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Dad's in there, too. But uh, March is Bleeding Disorder Awareness Month. Yeah. Um, and so we thought it was a good opportunity. The kids love doing brackets, and we thought with March Madness, it's a, it's a great opportunity to not just have some fun with the kids, but to, to raise awareness for people with hemophilia and other bleeding disorders. What did you learn about hemophilia? I mean, this is heredit hereditary. Right. Yeah, everything. Um, we found out that um, my wife is a carrier. Zoe's actually a carrier as well. Uh, my wife is, is a mild hemophiliac, which she didn't know her entire life. Mm. Um, so even as medicine gets better, they're looking for a cure. Hopefully within a few years, um, there could be one. But even diagnosis, he had to have two circumcisions. It was a revision at nine months old, and that's when we found out. And so, it's because they couldn't stop the yeah. bleeding? And so <laughs> a newborn baby in the hospital won't stop bleeding, and no one thinks, like, maybe he has a bleeding disorder. We should look into this. It doesn't even come up. So it's not just finding a cure, it's really about the awareness of learning what it is and learning how it affects a lot of people. You said at the beginning 20,000 people with hemophilia, but there are a lot of other bleeding disorders that go undetected for years. So is there a way to test it then? Because, yeah, if he was so young and this was happening... Oh, sure. There's tests, but they're, they're not as common because, obviously, um, the disease isn't as common. So there are ways to, to sort of, if you see a, a child that bruises a lot, if you see cuts that don't heal, um, for Max, the reason he needed a port is because he twisted his ankle napping. And when he woke up, two hours later, he couldn't walk. Uh -huh. And then he got a few treatments, and then two days later, he couldn't walk. And this happened for a week or two until we realized his treatments were not effective, and we ended up having to go with the port. So, Zoe, what made you want to come up with the calendars here? Well, I know that... Hemophilia is very, um, very bad if you don't know that you have it before you, when you have it, and then you have to treat it, and treating it is expensive, and make, finding a cure would be even more expensive. So you wanted so, to help out and make a calendar, and you mm -hmm. had some of your friends help you with the pictures, yeah, right? Yeah, a lot of my friends... Um, helped with the calendar. Yeah, show the and they took pictures, right? So these are the photographers, mm -hmm. and it's different in that you guys took pictures of things you liked and put it in mm -hmm. there? Well, this, this theme is what makes a hero. So every month has a theme. Mm -hmm. For example, November's theme is Invincible. So you, you took, our friends took pictures of things they would think was invincible. And each of the kids, Zoe actually came up with the, the different sort of hero, like the superhero saying for each month. And then we had all of their friends go out and take pictures of what makes them feel strong or invincible or powerful, things like that. I love that. So let's get to the brackets, the brackets. then, because <laughs> it is, we are getting ready for March Madness. We haven't even put together our brackets I've, I've been yet. looking at the brackets, though, <laughs> Max and Zoe. <laughs> so, okay, we're, we'll start with Zoe first, and then we'll go, we'll save you for last, Max, if that's all right. So you guys have already put together your brackets, mm -hmm. and you do this every year. For how long have they been doing this dance? Since before Zoe was two. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, so it's been a long time uh, <laughs> since we've been doing this. Max 
has been doing it for about four years. Okay, so you guys are pretty much experts then. I mean, they're used mm -hmm. to doing this. So go ahead, and I want you to give me, Zoe, your final four. I have Villanova in the east. Right. <laughs> Arizona in the west, Kansas in the midwest, and Kentucky in the south. Ah, now, why, of course, we know why Villanova, right? Because they're local. You're a Villanova fan? Mm, yeah. She picked them because of the one seed. I tried to get her to say that since we love hearts, we should root for Josh Hart, but she I like didn't want to. No? Okay. All right, so Max, what about you? What's your final four? My final four Duke, Louisville, Butler, and Maryland. Oh, I like that. Wait, no confidence. Villanova? No. no, he said no. <laughs> why not? And because Duke always wants to feel no lie. You see, it's this thing. So Duke is mm, uh, two, and Villanova is one. Oh. I like the thought process. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And for everyone they get right, there's a donation. Yeah, for awesome. everyone that they get right, uh, if you go to heartsforhemophilia.org, um, you can, well, we donate $100 uh, to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia for every Final Four team Max gets right. But this year, to get Zoe and all the other kids who took pictures, we're going to donate money for every kid who's in our bracket, whether it be kids who took the photos, anyone who, who wants to be a part of it, we're going to donate money to CHOP as well for any Final Four team that they get, right? I love that. Okay, thank you so much. So people can find more information about this and get the calendars on, what's the website it's again? It's heartsforhemophilia.org, and if you do slash brackets, you can sign up for our bracket. Perfect. You guys should do it. You should join our We're yeah. definitely going to do it. Can I, can I copy off your bracket, Max? Yes. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. Now, you, did you do research for this, or how'd you pick? No, I just, I just picked T the tell ones. Tell them why you picked Louisville. I picked Louisville because, in a different language, Louisville is the bathroom. No, no. The, the loo. <laughs> the loo. The apparently, in school, they did a British show, and the loo the was loo. the bathroom. Oh, I see. And, and why did you, didn't someone pick Butler one year? Why did they pick Butler? Why did you pick Butler? Because I love to say but, and I'm never allowed to when I'm in my house. <laughs> we'll give you an exception this morning. You just said it on live TV. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's okay. We forgive you. Well, thank you so much. Thank we appreciate you. We have gifts for you as well. Oh, That's very thank kind. you. We get a calendar. And a magnet. And a magnet. I love it. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so Zoe. much. Thank you, Iron Max. Do you have a move? Do you have a superhero move? Uh, I like that. Me, <laughs> you almost hit your sister there. So cute. Thank you so much, Louie family. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it.